This is contentious, but like if you know, if I reckon there needs to be like a, a brand change. For mm. this. Like, but I felt like if I concentrate on this, maybe I can come up with something. Maybe I can explain the maths as a joke. Maybe I can put the things together. I feel like I know something, and it's not really being said. There was Adam Spencer. He was doing stuff, and. Uh, other people in the past had sort of done some things. And it was really, even though there were people like Adam Spencer there, mm. it was such a young and almost like sort of virgin land, uncharted territory. Yeah, totally uncharted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, and so, yeah, so, so one of the first successful things I did, because I kind of it, it, I, I kind of had the performance stuff worked out before the jokes, mm. but I think my first successful one was the Sudoku, because I, um, cause I was doing, because I'd done Sudoku, because people kept asking me, oh, are you good at Sudoku? And it's like, yes. And it's like, oh, how come? It's like, because I've been doing maths for 10 years. It's like, if I didn't know how to do this, there'd be a problem. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like... it's kind of, it's, it's, I've got to have at least some respect yeah, to be yeah. able to pull that kind of thing off. Well, yeah, so. but it's just, it's kind of like, it's such a, you know, it's like, imagine like you're a guitar player. It's like, oh, do you know, do you know how to play Stairway to Heaven or it's Green like, Day? And it's like, oh. yes. It's like, oh, yeah, I think how I've did you it. learn it? That's really difficult. And it's like, God, if I didn't know how to do it, it'd be shame on you shame on me yeah 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 not worthy of the name of yeah yeah so anyway so that's what i did i i i was looking at sudokus and i realized that the numbers which they use are just it's actually just nine different symbols mm. i realized this very early on and then i kind of thought you know people actually look at numbers and just get scared and so i thought i'm going to try and make this accessible to like the most the antithesis of someone of the nerd mm. and in my mind it was like it's a bogan and the bogan and, and you can get away with saying that in australia because there's an affectionate to turn you know like everyone's got a like i've got a bogan inside me you know like, yeah yeah kind of like looks at the car burnout and whatever and it's like, oh, mm, that's pretty cool uh, but you know what i mean so so then i ended up taking exchanging the numbers for football teams and i made this joke and it was like it was really exciting because it was still maths and it was like i was explaining maths but i was explaining i was like i was i was actually talking about how people feel towards me. I was kind of flipping it around. So there's this misconception there that to be maths, it has to be numbers. Yeah. As soon as people see numbers, that's kind of the, oh, well, that's close to me. That's not a thing that I'm interested in. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, people just turn off. I mean, like if I, if I had, I mean, this is contentious, but like if, you know, if I reckon there needs to be like a, a brand change, like I mm. think maths, I mean, it, it, the idea of maths, um, I think a, a a way of better communicating it is problem solving. Mm. Abstract problem solving to be more precise, but I think problem solving at least kind of gets to what is so amazing about mathematics. Mm. And what mathematics has given to me, all the maths that I've solved, uh, all, all the work I've done, is that it actually has given me the ability to think abstractly. Mm. And that has been... That's the, actually the skill that it's really developed. Yeah. More than just about numbers, but a different kind of... Yeah, yeah, thinking. well, because like... like you know, numbers are, they're, they're just a construction of maths at this time. You see mm. what I mean? It's, it's, it's like maths is more than, than what, the way we write it. It's not mm. to get too spiritual. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but no, well, no, but, but it's, there's a language that's used to talk about it. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the thing itself. Which is, yeah, well, yeah. That, that's the crazy thing is that when, when you study maths for a really long time, you kind of like, um, well, for example, like say, say like you're looking at whole numbers positive whole numbers, right? And you look at them and you kind of realize, oh yeah, so we've got whole numbers, so there's a number like 12, and I can break it up, I can say that's uh, four times three, mm -hmm. or you know, I can talk about uh, two times six, and so there's these different ways to talk about the way these numbers are um, produced. But then you move on to 13, and 13's only one times 13, or 13 times one. I mean, you can go into fractions and but if you stick to whole numbers, that's right. You're, you're in this whole problem. number world. And in, so, the, in the whole number world, you have these weird numbers: thirteen, and then there's seventeen, mm. and there's three, and there's five. And so you might go, um, okay, so a number which um, can only be uh, expressed as itself times one, that's really interesting. Mm. So I'm going to call these numbers bobs. <laughs> okay, and uh, and and the thing is, is that I've discovered this and I've put a name to it to kind of give it a handle mm. right and so, so I can describe it so I can communicate yeah, so, it so, so you can so move yeah so you can basically have a way of, of taking it and moving it around and so then you kind of play around with these numbers and you realize that 12 uh, even though it's um, even though it's 2 times 6 and 3 times 4 if you go 2 times 2 times 3 that's as far down as it goes mm. 
But then you go, oh yeah, but then there's two times two times three times one, and then there's two times two times three times one times one, and there's two times two times three times one times one times one times one. And so basically you can keep multiplying one, mm. and then it, uh, it, you still get all this repetition. But then you realise, if I exclude one, then there's a way of expressing these whole numbers uniquely. There's like no it, other way to yeah, sort of so, dig down any further. Yeah, yeah, or if you do dig down, you'll always end up at the same Yeah, so there's, there's, it's like these atoms. And mm. so, so what you say is, you say, if, if I look at bobs, but I exclude one, I'm going to call them primes. Mm. And so you've discovered this thing called primes, and it has a definition because of the structures that you're discovering. Mm. And so what's called unique prime factorization because then you start using big words because like you're going hey hey i'm gonna show how smart i am <laughs> but no you, you kind of start using words that sound big and kind of scare people the idea is is that is that whole numbers can be expressed in these atoms mm. and then these and then you look at prime numbers and you discover all these new things and new things but the point is is that these things are discovered it doesn't matter how i write it down i can write it in binary i can mm. write it as numbers i can even write it as Roman numerals, which isn't very efficient, but that's not the point. The point is that these, these things uh, are discovered. And the problem, I think, is that so many people get taught this, and the way we get taught is, no. like, here's the facts, learn them. And they sort of, they come to you as this immutable body that's already pre-established, exactly. and it's always yeah. been true, and everyone thought it's true. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So what's great in doing maths comedy, and what my, I think my main kind of modus operandi is, mm. is the fact that I'm really trying to get people to see maths differently. Mm. And so, like the Sudoku, the most important thing, the serious thing for me, is that they're seeing that this Sudoku thing is a structure that is different to, um, to the, like this perception of it's just numbers. Mm. And even my Pythagoras' theorem, I, when I do my proof of Pythagoras' theorem, there's so many ways I could prove it. Um, and in so many ways I can prove it without using algebra or numbers. Mm. So I do a pictorial way, which is fine, as, and, unless uh, you're dyslexic. There is problems with d people who are dyslexic. It's not gonna, I'm, I'm know, gonna see that. So that's immediate to you. Yeah, so there's, so there's, yeah. there's, there's another way, there's another way I have to explore for people um, who, who suffer that. But, but yeah, so for people like myself, who are you know, fortunate enough to have these visual things pop, um, What's really great is that you can actually cut, you can actually cut the, the two squares in a certain way mm. and it's like a jigsaw. Mm. But the way I show how to do it is this beautiful way where you, you infer. So you have two areas that are exactly the same, you cut them up different ways. And then you take away equal areas. And so it's really kind of a logic exercise. It's a logic it, exercise, but, but what's, what's really important is, is that all of maths is in that proof. Mm. Because you're taking the visual, so vis things that you can prove visually, like physically, like I can put one on top of the other and mm. I can see they're the same. You're using those things to prove something that you can't see visually. So you can't automatically go, okay, well that area plus that area equals that area, why? Mm. But then when you follow the logical argument, you go, oh yeah, of course. It's inevitable to get that result out. Yeah, but that's, see in mathematics, that's what we, that's what you do, mm. is that you take these facts and then you go somewhere new, and you and you really want to kind of go through this trap door of, of discovering something that you couldn't have found out unless you had that knowledge. It's a, it's about broadening out, and this is this is how, this is why I'm excited by maths and why people you know if it's like you, you know you're jumping no come on seriously like it's just me and you you don't really like. This is just a, you don't want to do another, you don't want to be a teacher or something. You know what I mean? It's like you, you say, come up with some reason. Yeah, you yeah. come up with like, and it's like, no, I seriously am. I seriously am interested in this because I love solving problems and I love that stru the, the structures that you discover. I mean, I really love maths and I'm so lucky that there's so much ignorance out there that <laughs> I get to try and explain it to people.